Uh, my name's Colin Murphy. I attended uh, University of North Alabama. My name's Jeff Hall. I play baseball at Park University in Kansas City, Missouri. Well, always books come first, you know. My responsibilities as a student athlete is the first off, like I say, student athlete. You got to be a student first, and whatever the school sets as your, you know, standard GPA, you have to keep above. To stay eligible, you got to maintain that. And a lot of teams have separate. The team I played on has separate set of rules, not only classroom-wise, but off the you know off the field in the streets, you know, abiding by the law and stuff. Where uh, that's my responsibility to maintain those rules, to stay eligible through the school academics, the conference academic standards, and also the rules that set forth by the coach, whether it be alcohol or you know curfew on the road or you know etc. Was the responsibilities that I had to abide by. Do you add? Try to get my books done first, and then, and then go to the field every day. And, uh, try to get that accomplished second. Definitely reasonable, but obviously there's uh, you know if you it's just time management as far as the classroom, but it's definitely harder than the average student having those because uh, I mean the coach doesn't really see the classroom, and the classroom doesn't see the coach, so it's not like you know two pieces working together. It's really two individuals, the teacher and the coach, working on their own schedule, not worrying about the other. So the teacher assigns you X, Y, Z, and that has to be done without consideration to baseball. Baseball coach expects you to get baseball done X, Y, Z, without consideration to the classroom. So sometimes those kind of clash and cross over without those two pieces working together. But some teachers are a lot better than others, you know, working with the coach in the program. But I think expected out of you is reasonable, but sometimes there's that situations clash when you know the, the time management becomes uh, a struggle. Not really unfairly, it's just tough though when you like you trying to put everything together and like accomplish everything, like especially with homework and then you're playing sports, um, playing baseball, like uh, like five hours a day. It's tough to put it all together. No, I don't think anything was out of the you know out of the ordinary, and uh, I mean there was some you know you get some perks whether it be time extensions and stuff, but nothing crazy. I mean if you're a normal law-abiding citizen that at least attended class regularly, uh, you're not going to have a problem to be at least eligible. But obviously on the baseball side of things, there's high, a lot higher expectations to be able to be successful. I also think it goes both ways. You know we get. And we get a little advantage because we get a little leeway sometimes because we get a little extensions on like homework and stuff like that. But uh, for the most part, I think it's I think it's kind of fair. You know? They understand, teachers understand. And stuff. Uh, there's a lot of advantage. You get some perks, whether it be you know the publicity or some little perks in the classroom for those teachers that give it to you. But there are also on the other side, there are teachers that I think decredit you for being an athlete for whatever vendetta they hold against athletes, they almost hold you to a higher standard or don't give you those time extensions, but I mean a lot's expected out of the athlete and especially when you mess up, the limelight is shine, shine right on you. So I mean as the athlete, when you do mess up, the, you know, the, the disadvantages is you're always in the spotlight, expected to perform, expected to be the model citizen. Model citizen. Because what it comes down to is your free marketing for the school, you're wearing the, the Park University name on your chest when you go out on the street your free marketing to the school so the expectations are a lot higher because that label is put on you automatically every day. Well, I think they just need to like understand like especially for school wise like what we go through and like I mean they're not at the practice and stuff and see how hard we work so I just like especially the professors and stuff aren't all out there and like administration is not out there really so I just expect to them to understand like maybe through our coaches or something what we go through and like uh, how tough we work and how hard it is to balance both of the uh, school and uh, baseball. First off, I mean like they say I'm a student athlete so I, I think going to the school I went to their responsibility to me is to give me an education and that's staffing and you know, staffing the proper teaching staff that can teach me the tools I need to succeed down the road in my life. Getting my degree, you know, signifies I can, you know, work, have, be in the workforce in this country, and they need to give me the education where I can do that. That's a responsibility to me, and along with getting that ed education is the, the facilities to learn, the, 
any of the utensils, the tools to learn, whether it be books, laboratory equipment, whatever, you know, whatever field you're in, uh, to be able to learn and, and be up to date with the, what the society expects from a student coming out of college to get right in the workforce. I think it's okay because that's what the athletics are there for. It's, the bottom line is in the world we live in, everything's a business. It's about money. So they're fueling the athletic teams to make money to help them out. So 100%, I believe, they should use the money they make off us to build better science programs, build better buildings, build better facilities for the average student. But the bottom line on top of that is they need to take care of us first, whether it be building facilities for these athletes to be high top, to be supreme athletes, so you, that these athletes have a chance to go on in their respective sports, and then that leftover money can kind of filter down into these other places. Uh, so definitely, I think it should be used to better the school as a whole because we are student athletes, student first. So we get that education, build better buildings, field better staff, for the better teachers. But I definitely believe they have an obligation to also use that money to better the facilities and the coaching staff of our various athletic programs.